Hi, my name is Hermione, and I'm from Greece. Please like and subscribe. My dad left before I was born, but I grew up with the most amazing mom, who was a hairdresser at a really fancy salon. But when I was 10, I ran into the salon one day to show mom my report card while she was working on a beautiful woman. Suddenly, I tripped over something and went flying straight into mom, who ended up snipping off half the woman's hair. And she went ballistic. You moron, what have you done? I look like a hideous boy. Oh, I'll make sure you never work in this town again. And before I knew it, mom was fired. I was really sorry, but she wouldn't hear it. It was an accident, darling. Don't worry, I'll find another job. But the woman wasn't kidding. Mom couldn't get a job anywhere in town as a hairdresser. And soon enough, we were too broke to even make rent. Then one day, mom said she'd talk to her older sister and we'd be moving to another town to live with her. I'd never met this aunt before. And when we got to her house, my jaw dropped. Her mansion looked as big as the Parthenon. As a maid let us in, a plump woman dressed in expensive clothes walked into the hall. My aunt. I rushed forward to hug her, but she stopped me. What are you doing? Don't touch me. Just do a curtsy. Who was she? The freaking wife of Zeus? Just then, a pretty girl about my age came running in, and she stomped on my foot. You're ugly. I can't believe you're my cousin. Wow, I had to live with these people now? Of all the rooms in the mansion, Aunt gave me and my mom the dusty old attic to share. And at dinner time, I could feel her eyes on me as I helped myself to more food. She seemed to be the cheapest millionaire ever. But I promised I'd behave well and not cause mom any trouble, which was easier said than done. My cousin Lydia was a year older than me, and I soon discovered that aunt was obsessed with making her a model. One day, I found Lydia balancing a pile of books on her head, while her trainer screamed at her to walk straight without dropping them. The very next second, they all came crashing. Lydia, you have no balance, no grace. How will you be a model? You, skinny girl, come try this. To my surprise, I walked across the room with the books easily. Lydia angrily tried again, and this time, she went crashing into a very expensive vase. Mom, look what Hermione did. What? Aunt came charging into the room like an angry bull, and no matter how much I protested, she wouldn't hear a word. And she actually took money from mom to pay for it, which was her two months salary. Gosh, Aunt was such a witch. Soon after, mom got me enrolled in the same school as Lydia. On the very first day, I'd just sat down at the cafeteria, where she and her friends joined me. We thought we'd give you company. You've clearly made no friends. I'm fine, actually. So, Lydia tells us you're her maid's daughter? It's so amazing that her mom is paying for your school. What? No, she's not. My mom is... Ew, your mom packed you meatballs for lunch? So uncool. We only eat salads. Well, I guess you have to watch what you're eating. Suddenly, Lydia leapt forward angrily and rubbed my lunch all over my face. Did you just call me fat? Call me that again, and I will end you. With that, she and her friends walked away. I wanted to kick her butt so bad, but I didn't want to get into trouble. I just tried to keep my head down and focus on my studies, but Lydia and her friends would find some way to bully me. And it didn't help that I looked really bad in Lydia's oversized hand-me-downs. When Lydia's 15th birthday came around, Aunt threw her a huge birthday bash. And even though she had tons of servants, she made me slave away in the kitchen too. I finally managed to escape and snuck up to the table with a plate. Just then Lydia came running and snatched it. What do you think you're doing? Are you stupid? I'm about to eat, so give that back. No, it's my birthday and I decide who eats. And you can't. Oh yes I will. What you gonna do? Go crying to mommy, you big baby. What did you just call me? I said, you're a big baby. With that, I grabbed a chunk of cake and threw it at her face. She pounced on me and we went crashing straight into the food table. As we threw food at each other, Lydia's friends also joined in and a food fight broke out. When Aunt arrived at the scene, she started screaming like a maniac and all the kids fled, while Lydia burst into tears that her birthday was ruined. And then Aunt turned to me. You, you, you clean up this mess right now or I'll throw you and your mother out tonight. Do what you like, you miserable creature. I'm not cleaning. I grabbed some food, dashed to my room and locked myself up. Oh God, what had I just done? 
A few hours passed and no one came to my room. I was beginning to get worried why mom wasn't home yet, so I snuck down quietly to find her wiping the walls and floors clean. Mom, why are you doing that? I'm really sorry, I I'll do it. It's okay, Hermione. I feel awful that you have to live here because I can't afford a place. I promise, someday we'll leave, but we can't just yet. You don't have to feel bad about anything. I'll be good. I'll even say sorry to aunt. But I don't understand how you two are even related. We never got along, even as kids. She always wanted to have everything I had. Now she has so much more and she's still a witch. We both burst out <laughs> laughing as we cleaned the mess. I'd put up with anything as long as I had mom by my side. But after the birthday, Lydia and her friends were being a lot meaner at school. One day during recess, she and her friends started hounding me in the corner. Hey Twiggy, your light is a stick, I'm sure. Oh, she is. <laughs> Why don't you go see for yourself? Suddenly, the guy just picked me up as I kicked and screamed. Let me go! Put me down right now! But they threw me in the janitor's closet and locked it. Just then I heard them all running off and seconds later, the principal opened the door. He'd seen everything and he punished the bullies by suspending them for a week. And when I got home, who was Aunt Furious at? Me! It's your fault my darling was suspended. She's just a kid, and she's never been punished for anything in her life. I'm a kid too, and she got punished for bullying me. Well, if she's getting punished, you will too. You'll serve all the guests at my party tomorrow, or else. I didn't want mom to suffer again, so I kept my mouth shut. Aunt's party was full of super rich friends, and I was busy serving them when a lady caught up with me. Hi, you're really pretty. Are you interested in modeling? Before I could answer, Aunt interrupted. Her? A model? No, no, no. She's just a maid. Don't waste your time on her. But you're naturally built for a model. You're perfect. I can see you being Miss World, I tell you. Turns out the lady was the owner of a big fashion magazine, and she wanted to have me as her cover page model. What? That was supposed to be Lydia, not this stupid maid. Well, darling, I'm sorry. <laughs> Lydia isn't fit for my magazine. Aunt went totally bonkers. She grabbed the woman's drink and threw it in her face. Then she started screaming at everyone. Party's over. Everyone, get out. And you, you're grounded. But when I told mom later all about it, she was so excited. She insisted we'd go together to meet this woman. We went to the lady's office the very next day and she was really happy that I showed up. She immediately signed me up for a big magazine shoot. I woke up super pumped on the day, but seconds later, I was screaming at my reflection. That which Lydia had chopped off my hair in my sleep. I looked terrible. But mom came to the rescue. She gave me a beautiful pixie cut and the magazine lady absolutely loved it and I totally nailed the shoot. Everyone thought I was a natural. Within the next six months, I was on lots of magazine covers and billboards, and suddenly, things at school changed too. I was no longer the skinny kid with hand-me-downs. I was the popular model kid now, with a wardrobe that fit me just right. And the best part was watching Lydia burn. A few weeks later, there was a fashion show at school, and Lydia immediately signed up for it too. On the day of the event, I decided to take a quick shower in the gym before getting ready. But as I stepped out, I saw to my horror that Lydia had gathered all my clothes and she just grinned at me and she walked out. Oh my God, what was I gonna do without any clothes? I looked around and the only thing I saw were the curtains. I quickly pulled them down and made them into a dress with safety pins and it didn't look half bad. Lydia looked shocked when I walked down the ramp in my curtain dress and blew her a kiss. When I was announced as the winner, she went insane. She literally jumped on me, trying to snatch the trophy away. She would have poked my eye out if some teachers hadn't rescued me. That night, I was walking down to the kitchen when I heard Lydia and Aunt talking about me. Just make her go away, Mom. I can't stand her anymore. She's ruining my life. Okay, baby. I'll get rid of her somehow. You know, I got rid of her father too a long time ago. Wait, what? Got rid of my father? Is that what you just said? What are you doing here? Can't I have some privacy in my own house? Just shut up and tell me what you meant about dad. <sighs> yes, yes, I got rid of him. After my stupid husband left me, I fell in love with your father, but he fell head over heels in love with your stupid mom. I couldn't stand it. 
So I convinced him that your mom was pregnant with someone else's child and he left. If I couldn't have him, no one could. While I stared at her speechless, I heard mom behind me. H how could you do this to me? All these years, I thought it was him, but it was actually you. Are you completely crazy? Why should you have everything? You didn't deserve him anyway. I would have given him the world. But before she could finish, mom leapt forward and slapped her hard. You've had this coming for a long time. Come, Hermione, we aren't staying here another minute. We packed our bags and checked into a hotel for a few days. We decided that the first thing we had to do was track down dad. Mom started calling up their mutual contacts and luckily we found out soon that dad lived in another city now and that he owned a million dollar company. My dad was a millionaire? The very next day, we flew over and showed up at his company. Mom asked me to wait outside while she went to talk to him in his office. Half an hour later, Mom called me excitedly. As soon as Dad saw me, he hugged me tight. I, I, I can't believe you're my daughter. This is a lot to take in. I'm so sorry for leaving. I should have been there for you. I never should have believed your aunt's lies. I never want to spend another minute without you both. He then showed us a picture of Mom in his wallet and said he'd never gotten married because he'd never loved anyone the same way again. Soon after we moved in with dad, I planned a wedding for my parents because they never got the chance earlier. I decided to personally invite aunt, so I went to her place. Come begging for a place to stay again, haven't you? I handed her the wedding card. I'm rich enough to buy your house now, but that's not why I'm here. The wedding is next week. You and your daughter can come to witness that true love can't be separated but evil people always end up alone in a big house. You are the best example. I walked out and I never saw her again. I was my mom's bridesmaid at the wedding and it was the happiest moment of my life to see her get everything she truly deserved. And now I'm living my best life with my family.